Ever wonder why your workouts sometimes feel off? Well, I've got the lowdown on the five things you should never do before hitting the gym. These mistakes can make you feel weaker, and big ones can totally mess up your workout. Whether you're into building muscle or burning fat, then you don't want to miss this if you want the best results from your workout. So let's dive in and make sure your workouts are top notch. Let's talk about the first thing you should never do before hitting the gym, eating a big meal too close to your workout. Here's why it's not a good idea. When you eat, your body focuses on digesting that food, sending blood to your stomach. But when you exercise, your body wants to send blood to your muscles. So eating and working out are like a tug of war for your body's blood supply. If you eat a big meal right before working out, your stomach and muscles end up competing for blood and neither gets enough. This can make you feel bloated, heavy, and even nauseous. It might even mess with your performance, so skip the big meal right before hitting the gym for a better workout. Now here's another reason to avoid eating a lot right before your workout. It's because digesting food takes up a bunch of energy. You know that sleepy feeling you get after a big meal at a buffet or Thanksgiving dinner? We don't want that before or during our workout, right? Now everyone's digestion speed is a bit different. No one size fits all answer here. But a good rule is to finish eating about two to three hours before your workout. This gives your body time to digest without making you feel tired. Remember, meals with lots of fat or a huge amount of food take longer to digest, so plan ahead for a better workout. Before we're moving on to the next mistake, hit that subscribe button with notification on, give the video a thumbs up, then consider sharing it with someone else who might also like the video. I'd really appreciate it. Another mistake people make before working out is having too much coffee. Now, caffeine can boost your energy, help you lift more, and get you focused. It's in a lot of pre-workout supplements, but here's the thing, too much caffeine can cause problems. It acts like a natural laxative, making your stomach go crazy. You don't want to be running to the bathroom between your workout sets, and that's just the start. Too much caffeine can mess up your stomach, and it might lead to other issues like restlessness, trouble sleeping, a fast heartbeat, anxiety, heartburn, and high blood pressure. Imagine having heartburn during your workout. That's not fun, right? So, be careful with the coffee and pre-workout. Stick to the recommended amount on the bottle to avoid these problems. Here's a big mistake lots of people make. Stretching before lifting weights. Not all stretching is bad before a workout, but most folks do something called static stretching, which you should save for after your workout. Static stretches are when you hold a muscle in one position for 20 to 30 seconds, like reaching for your toes. That's a static stretch. But doing this before your workout can actually make your muscles perform worse. Studies show runners can't run as fast, athletes can't jump as high, and weightlifters can't lift as heavy after static stretching. On the flip side, dynamic stretching is a cool way to warm up. It's like moving through a full range of motion, not just holding one position, so you don't really need to stretch before your workout. But if you want to, go for dynamic stretches like Frankenstein's. Save the static stretches for after your workout. Another thing to avoid is doing cardio right before lifting weights. Lots of people think it is a good warm-up, but it might be hurting your performance. Here's why. Your body uses glucose for energy when lifting weights. It's stored in your muscles and liver as glycogen. If you do cardio before lifting, you burn through that glucose your muscles need, making you lift lighter or do fewer reps. So, if you want to do both cardio and lift weights in one workout, save the cardio for after lifting. That way you use the glycogen to push yourself while lifting, then switch to using oxygen and body fat for cardio. A quick 5 minute walk on a treadmill before lifting is okay, but if you do intense cardio like running for 15 to 30 minutes before lifting, it can really mess up your weightlifting. Let's talk about another mistake to avoid, drinking too much water before a workout. I won't take up too much of your time on this one, but it's like eating too much or having too much coffee before exercise. 
Some folks get really into staying hydrated, which is good, but the problem comes when they try to chug a ton of water right before or during their workout. This can make you feel sick and cramp up, because during exercise, your blood flows to your muscles, not your stomach. To dodge this, sip water between your workout sets, and remember, it's better to drink water regularly throughout the day instead of guzzling a ton all at once before your workout. Now here's one that might seem obvious, but it's worth mentioning. Don't drink alcohol before a workout. Sure, you might feel like Superman after a drink, but it's not a good idea. Why? Well, alcohol is a depressant. It slows down things like your reaction time, coordination, and balance. So not only will your workout be less effective, but it also becomes more risky. You could end up with a serious injury if you're not careful. Here's another problem. If you work out right after drinking, your blood still has alcohol in it. So when you're tearing up your muscles during the workout, that alcohol is right there with the blood, which isn't great for your results or recovery. And alcohol really dehydrates you. Combine that with a sweaty workout and you could face all sorts of negative side effects. Let's talk about core training, something you should avoid right before lifting weights. Your core is super important for almost every weightlifting exercise, even ones you might not think involve your core, like bench press or pull-ups. Here's the deal. Your core stabilizes your body and helps transfer strength from your lower body to your upper body. So if your core is tired from a tough ab workout, it can mess up exercises, even ones where you are seated or lying down. Think about pull-ups, they need a strong core too. If you do abs right before pull-ups, your performance can drop. And it's not just upper body, your core is crucial for squats and deadlifts. If you weaken your core with ab exercises and then try heavy squats, you might hurt your lower back. So the takeaway is, never do squats or deadlifts right after training your core. For the best results, either hit your core after lifting weights or do it on a separate day. Here's a common mistake, taking pain relievers like Tylenol or Advil before a workout. Whether you're feeling sore or worried about future soreness, it's not a good idea. Studies show that working out while on ibuprofen can cause gut problems and even intestinal injuries. Plus, taking muscle relaxers before lifting weights can slow down your body's response, making injuries more likely. If you're so sore that you can't imagine working out or without pain relievers, it's probably better to skip that workout. On the other hand, if you're just worried about future soreness, my advice is to tough it out. It's not worth risking gut issues for temporary relief. Soreness gets better over time as you get used to your workouts. Napping before your workout, taking a short nap like 20 to 30 minutes is great. It leaves you feeling more energized and refreshed. But here's the thing, if you nap for much longer, it can do the opposite. Research shows that longer naps can leave you feeling more tired and sluggish than before. So if you're tired before hitting the gym, go ahead and take a nap. Just keep it short. It's a quick boost without making you feel groggy. One of the biggest mistakes we men make is eating food that kills our testosterone. So click on the screen. I'm going to walk you through 7 surprising foods that kill your testosterone.